Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I'm Alicia, lover of makeup and glam rock. The votes are in, thank you all who participated. Every Saturday I will be posting two products in my Instagram stories and everyone will have a chance to vote which one is their favorite. Also, keep on watching to find out how you can get featured in next week's video. Just wanted to remind you to give this video a thumbs up and now let's talk about the products. First product up is the Batiste. Yeah. <laughs> Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo. And this one is Blush, which is a floral and flirty. Ooh. So if you don't know, Batiste has a lot of different dry shampoos. There's the original, and then this one, of course, is the floral, and they also have colored ones, so it can match your hair color. Unfortunately, they don't make blue dry shampoos, but they do have brown, black, more natural colors. The size of this one I have here is 13.46 ounces. They also have a 1.6 ounce and a 6.73 ounce. Now, what's pretty cool about their website batistehair.com you just go ahead click on the dry shampoo that you want then you click on locations i believe and it shows you first it showed me online locations so basically anywhere that they sell this online they had walgreens listed kroger walmart rite aid of course ulta beauty cvs and they didn't list amazon but they do have an amazon shop so you could go there then next to that, there is a little tab that says nearest locations. So you could put in your zip code and see where they sell it in stores that are nearby you. Which is pretty cool. Of course, my CVS has it. Now prices do vary depending on which size you are getting and of course which store you're purchasing it at. I'm going to start from smallest to biggest for the prices. So the 1.6 ounce one is around $3.99 from what I saw. Then the 6.73 ounce goes from $6.49 all the way up to $8.99. There's prices that vary in between that. Then the 13.46 ounce one is around $15.49. May go higher. May go lower. I think the lowest I've seen was around $10. It is cruelty free and sulfate free. And of course this bottle is recyclable, which if you don't know how to recycle these, usually they have like a website that says how to recycle.info. So check that out. Usually you have to make sure these things are all empty because it is a metal can aerosol. Yeah, ooh, yeah. <laughs> This dry shampoo is a multi-award winning hair hero, apparently. It is a quick fix for your hair in between those showers. So basically, no water required. Your hair will be clean, fresh with body, and have some texture to it, which is pretty good. That's what you guys want. And for those who like to have blow dries in the salon, this is great to extend that life warranty, I guess of your hair so you don't have to go back right away into the salon and for those who are like me and are rushing in the morning perfect way to freshen up it will also help remove the oils from your hair now a funny sentence from their website that i i thought was hilarious it said every girly girl will love this floral scent but don't worry you don't have to be a girly girl to use it <laughs> it has a blend of fragrance filled with freesia peony and tuberose not to mention orange peel and other warm spices mostly in the ingredients list you'll just see it saying perfume though so a lot of it is mixed in the labs it is listed on the website as well that it says with keratin i don't see it in the ingredients list though here or any mention of it here at all but only on their website so maybe that was meant for another one of their dry shampoos, not too sure. Or maybe it was probably listed there just as a general label to any of their shampoos. Other things in it is butane, isobutane, and propane. Can't forget the linalol. And then last, it has Oriza Sativa Starch, which is basically rice starch. 
Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Okay, now for my demonstration. Of course, my hair is uh, somewhat clean still, really fluffy. <laughs> Pretty fluffy. But I'm going to go under here, off to the side, because these are not fluffy. These are starting to get a little bit dirty. So we're going to spray here on the side. What you always want to do as well is section the hair. It'll make it much easier for you guys. Trust me. So I got this section right here. And then I'm going to clip it. There we go. These clips are fantastic. You could probably find them at CVS as well. Getting pretty popular. Actually, maybe even at Sally's Beauty. Perfect place. Okay, and then you want to shake. And shake it good. Shake it well. Excuse me. Hold 12 inches away. I don't know. Yeah, somewhere around there. Take off the top, of course. Don't worry, you don't have to wet your hair or anything. This is it. Just leave it dry. You mainly want to see that line. You see that line right there where my roots are growing? You mainly want to shoot it at those roots. And then you can cover it. And the scent is beautiful. Very flowery. Very floral. Yes, then you massage it in like this. Then I want to get the next section. There we go. Oh, my goodness. That one scared me. I went back to my regular self. There we go. Did I get too close? Oh great, I think I got too close. So, uh, I probably want to go farther. And then just use your fingertips and massage it on in there. So as you can see, if you get too close, it's going to turn into a white powder. So you don't want to be that close. Because then you're going to have white powder everywhere. This is a pretty cool look for me. I look like... I look like I have a mohawk. Yeah. Maybe braid it off to the side here somewhere. Hmm. Then it mentions that you want to go ahead and comb through. So you could get rid of any excess stuff. You know, extra stuff, I'll say, out of there. Here I am without the filter. It's a little bit more flatter than I expected. But if I fluff it up, it'll be a pretty cool mohawk. Now for the next one. Here we go. It is called Foxy Bay. <laughs> Dirty gal. These brands are so clever with their names. So funny. Oh, and then on the bottom here, you can't see it. It's a little, little writing, but I'll, I'll show it to you closer. It says, no fox given. Not, not the F word, just F-O-X. No fox given. Dry shampoo. <laughs> this one is seven ounces and can be found at foxybay.com also Amazon and they do have a store there as well and what I mean is that they work with Amazon to sell their stuff yeah. the price of this goes around $14 to $15.95 and this one actually has an expiration date on there it says 36 months it is vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free. Now the first sentence on this one is pretty good. I gotta read you this one. Try to conjure up my inner meme here. It says, washing your hair in the morning? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> That's so funny. Get fresh and springy or bouncy hair in the morning in seconds without any worry. It is a special formula that has a very effective oil absorbing properties, but it will also help restore your hair's natural volume and body. This one has butane, propane, oryza sativa, and of course the fragrance, which it doesn't really tell you what it is. Hmm. But uh, it is, of course, as stated, perfume. This one also has biotin in it and aluminum. Oh, can't say this word. Aluminum. Yeah. Glycerin and SD alcohol 40B. Okay, now we're going to go through this process again. Basically the same thing. You want to shake well. This one's going to be a little bit harder because it's going to be on my left side and I'm left-handed and 
I mean, I'm not left-handed, and uh, yeah, they're gonna be kind of difficult. So I might, I might get really powdery. <laughs> now we're gonna section again. I'm gonna go off to the side. There is my perfect line right there. If you want to use a comb, it might be easier as well for you guys. There we go. Shake, and then do it with my eyes closed. I mean. Doing it with my eyes open this time. There we go. Yeah. And then massage. The scent of this is uh not so floral. Something else. Yeah. Actually, it probably smells more like a, an actual perfume. When you walk through Macy's and those ladies have the perfumes, those. They're all kind of just mixed together, not one scent. Like you could tell you're walking through the perfume aisle. Here's a comb I have, a rat tail comb. Makes it really easy to section. See, so they sell these at Sally's too. They're pretty good. Okay, oh look at that. My hair is staying up. And then spray. There we go. That's nice. And massage. And then again, use a comb just to take off the extra stuff. Yeah, there we go. And then, of course, they recommend you to take pictures and look awesome. Of course, post it on Instagram. How are you all doing out there? Somehow, with all that combing, I got my bangs back. Woo, they look so nice. <laughs> I found my bangs. Sometimes I have days where I just... My bangs don't want to, you know, look this good, and I just, uh, I just say whatever. Let them separate. I think probably because I sprayed the dry shampoo, it's cooperating again. All right, that's it. Now we're going to do the results. Okay, here we go. And, oh, and the winner is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Batiste, one hundred percent. Woo woo! Congratulations. Oh, did it again. Congratulations, Batiste. You are the winner. Info commercial. <laughs> Just kidding. You are the winner, I believe, because of course you have a floral scent and you're just a little bit more well known. The Foxy Bay. Unfortunately, you only could get it at two places. Amazon and the website, but you know, it's no no hard feelings. No hard feelings, you guys. I, I put it down there. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to give it some love, too. No hard feelings. You guys do really good. You actually kind of, I don't know, it looks like it lifted, lifted it up pretty well here. An awesome, a no brand that you guys might want to try. So give them some love as well. And Batiste, you, of course, are everywhere and you surround us with your freshness in all drugstores so easy to find easy to carry well the travel one of course just all around the girl next door okay that's it it's up to you guys which one is your favorite let me know in the comments and then i will feature you guys in next week's video did you like batiste have you been using batiste have you heard of foxy bay and you loved it which one is your favorite let me know let me know if you tried this I want to know. And then we can continue our conversations about dry shampoos in the comment section and in next week's video, possibly. This week we do have a comment from last week's video, so let's share her comment now. This one is from Roxy Loves Makeup. She said, to be honest, I like more the blue one. And honestly, I think I do too. <laughs> I don't know why, it just reminds me of the Little Mermaid palette and I do love my blues because of my hair. Which is crazy because it's not my favorite color. My favorite color is red. But I love how this blue hair just goes. And then I can use that blue eyeshadow palette for my eyebrows. Just because I like to match my eyebrows with my hair color. And not to mention, I liked that it had some other colors in it. Which is weird because it is supposed to be all blue. Like the purple palette had 
all purple like even if it was a dark kind of black grayish color it had a hint of purple into it the blue one randomly had oranges into it kind of peachy colors and I definitely I don't know I just felt like I could probably be a little bit more creative with those with that palette but that's just me have you guys checked out the last video I made go check it out the palette I'm speaking about by the way is the BH Cosmetics Iggy Azalea palettes so if you haven't tried those or if you want to see some swatches about that check out my last video okay that's it thank you so much Roxy for commenting and thank you everyone who voted and thank you to everyone who comments on my videos I really do appreciate every one of you this is me signing off now see you guys next week keep on loving makeup and keep on rocking bye did you all see my little cute sloth here? You're so cute. They say we look like our favorite animals and my favorite animal is a sloth and I'm, I'm pretty sure I look like him. See the resemblance? <laughs> okay, bye.